you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you guys round two of the store that's cheap. I really wanted to go back here because I have to see more deals <laughs> and I feel like you guys are interested as well. So I am actually at a different location today than the one I did in the previous video. They have a couple different areas out here in Sacramento. In case you didn't watch that video, this place is a liquidation salvage palette place. So basically they buy pallets of these kinds of items from big brands like Target. That's one of the main ones that I know that they get the stuff from because I can tell by the brands that they are bringing in there. So they get large quantities of like random things and I mean this place is just so amazing. <laughs> I love getting good deals on stuff and they have some unique pieces that you can find here that I just you never know what you're gonna find. It's almost even more exciting than TJ Maxx and Marshalls because you don't really know what's gonna be in stores. So yeah, I'm just super excited. Let's go ahead and go head into the store and see what we can find today. All right, so here we go. And honestly, I have to say, you guys, this has to be like my new favorite store. There is so much good stuff immediately when you walk in. First up, there are these pillows. There's this giant box that they usually have of pillows. These were actually all dollar spot pillows. So they were originally $5, but you could pick any of them for just a dollar each. They had some cute little patterns. And right over here, some 25 cents calendars. Except from the only catch with this one is that it is the 2022 calendar. So we are running out of months here. But I mean, if you wanted a calendar and you didn't pick one up yet, 25 cents, you can fill out the last couple months. <laughs> and then we had some of these tiered trays here. Again, these were dollar spot items. So originally five bucks, but they were there for a dollar. We had some rope baskets here for $3.50. I really like these black ones. They were originally five. And these collapsible ones that we did see in the previous store, but just wanted to show them again that they were here because there was a lot of them. Also, these potted plants for $1.50 is a great deal. This is actually a great little gift item, I think. They were originally $4.99. Next to that, we had a utensil holder. So if someone has a farmhouse aesthetic in their house, this would also make a really great gift. I mean, this is the place to go gift hunting, honestly. We also have these little wreaths that would make for really nice table setting ideas for some napkins. These, I don't even know what these were, honestly. <laughs> these metal houses, I feel like you could put probably like little plants in there, some candles, and it'd be kind of cute accent piece. They were here for just a dollar. We had a couple different signs here, a couple for the laundry room. These again were dollar spot items. I mean, you're gonna see that a lot inside of the store. That is definitely the theme. Same with these tiered trays. These guys were really cute. I'm honestly mad at myself that I didn't grab one of those because that is great to have for when you have like guests coming over or like a little party. Great serving item. I mean, this store is just gonna make you wanna get stuff for the deals because these signs right here, 25 cents each. That is crazy. I honestly am just thinking of all the people in which I can get these gifts for because that is such a good deal. And I mean, this is just the beginning. Wait till we keep going here and you see the rest of these deals. It's crazy. Now, when I would need one of these, I don't know, but this was $79.99 and it was a giant foam machine. I, I, I wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little hearth and hand over here. We had this chair, which honestly, I remember thinking like, what am I going to use this for? And then now I am completely regretting not getting it because this would make a great plant stand. I didn't like the natural wood of it, but I could have just painted it black. I might be going back and seeing if they still have it. Fingers are crossed because I need a plant stand right now. And now just showing you guys a couple of furniture pieces. We had that cube shelf and this rolling cart here. I didn't feel like these were the best deals, but I still wanted to show you guys them that they do have some furniture pieces. Now this next one here, $15, and I almost bought this in store. This is the Mondo Llama. It is the color your own food truck kit. I think it's genius. <laughs> it is so cool. 
As far as kids toys go, this is the limit that I am going to be showing you guys though. I know I showed you a lot more in the previous video, but at the end of this video, I am doing a haul and most of it, actually all of it, what ended up being kids toys because I am stocking up for Christmas, birthdays. So I'm not going to show you guys too much of the kids toys since I'll have a little bit more at the end here. But here was a great deal for for some string lights, six fifty. We had some LED strips over on this side. It felt a little expensive though, fifteen ninety nine. At first, I thought I said five ninety nine, but I'm pretty sure it said fifteen. So I ended up deciding against those. And then also this one frames nineteen fifty. You do get three of them, but again, it felt a little pricey. You know, I'm coming here for the super deals. <laughs> I don't want to spend that much per the item, but they were really beautiful. This wreath I've actually seen before. It is really pretty. It is one of those hearth and hand ones. Originally $45. It's here for $4. That, that's the deals we want. Right next to that, we have this beautiful wicker magazine holder. This was a Studian McGee collection item, so it was originally $50. I thought it was so beautiful. It's not really in my design aesthetic, but I mean, I had to appreciate it. So gorgeous. And I just love specifically when those two brands pop up here. And now for 99 cent, we had some Opal House scented oil warmers. These were such cute designs. And I mean, for 99 cents, that's a steal in itself. Next to that, we had some Threshold and Casa Luna shower curtains. These ones were really pretty and they felt luxurious too. I thought that was really pretty. We also had some Bright Room popping up. This is their acrylic organizers for $6.50. I believe these are somewhere around like $10 in store, so definitely not a bad deal. We had some outdoor fire pits. This one was a Project 62 find. I remember when these ones did go on sale in store. So I'm guessing the ones that didn't sell, they liquidated. So we are now going to be seeing them popping up here. Now you guys, this next section, $5 for every single purse that I'm about to show you. That was the craziest part to me because I was like, wait a second. Some of these prices on the purses too are pretty pricey. Well, I mean pricey. <laughs> that first one I showed you was $30 along with this bright pink one and they are the brand A New Day, so they are a Target purse. Actually, I think all of these ended up being Target purses. We had this green one here. That one was originally 25. This one with a kind of wicker bottom and the round handles was originally 35 bucks and then this yellow one actually gave me the Prada bag vibes you know the crossbody one that one was here originally 20 and then lastly this purple one was originally 19. So crazy good deal on all of the purses. Moving back to a little bit more home decor, we got more Hearth and Hand brand here. This one was an artificial plant by her for $24.99 originally. It was here for $7.99. These candlesticks, again, her brand here for $4.99, originally $6.99. These ones did not feel like a good deal for me because right next to it, we had the set of three for $5.99. So I kind of feel like some of the items, they know what they got, so they mark them up a little bit more than the rest of them. So one thing I definitely do recommend when going to stores like this, definitely do a little bit of research. If you find an item that you're like, oh wow, this one looks great. If it doesn't have a price tag on the back, like some of them don't, do a quick research online, see the original price and see if it's a good enough deal to grab. I mean, some of the items are still sold in store, so you kind of do get a still a better deal, but you know, sometimes items can go on sale in store and end up being a little bit better. So just kind of keep that in mind when going here. But jumping back to it, we have this hearth and hand two-tier tray here for $20.99. It was originally $32.99. So again, you know, they kind of know what they got with these items. I think that was like one of two left. So they were definitely flying off the shelves here. Sticking to the whole dinner kitchen theme, we had some dinnerware sets here by Threshold, two different kinds. This four-piece set of very aesthetic mugs, I have to admit. Those were beautiful for 13 bucks too. Then we had some drawer insert organizers and a pack of bath bombs here for $5.53. I thought that these items would make great little stocking stuffers for this year with holidays coming up. This item, $4.50, a great Sigma dupe. If you don't have the Sigma one, I mean, honestly, you don't really need it. It's just the same kind of silicone. So $4.50, it's still going to clean your brushes. 
we had some cute string lights string lights are super in right now so i feel like if you have like a teen i mean even an adult <laughs> that's a great gift item as well and a little bit of wall art here i thought these were beautiful they were some modern looking clocks you don't have any numbers so you know i'm pretty sure you don't really use it to tell the time but it just looks very pleasing we had a couple different art pieces. Again, I'm pretty sure those ones were Studio and McGee. And these ones with the drawn on or painted on wreaths on here. I had the idea that I was like, oh, wow, why buy that? I think I can make that this year. <laughs> That's usually how things like that work. So um, stay tuned for that next uh, month. No, wait, at least at least one more month. We got to get into November before I start thinking of anything Christmas. My house stays fully Halloween until after Halloween is actually passed. And then I'll start, start thinking about like Christmas and things like that. But anyways, back to it. We had some more wall art here, a beautiful mirror by Threshold for 20 bucks, some lanterns for 350. They had a whole bunch of them three different colors looked really fun stick a candle in there maybe an led one put it outside and you are good to go more hearth and hand these were her lazy susans i was so entertained by this it was originally $39.99, but it was here for $26.50. And all of the boxes you see stacked up underneath, those were all Lazy Susans. They went all the way to the floor, so they had a whole bunch of them. We had some laundry hampers. Those were $6.50. You had a plain one. You had this cute little striped moment. And then for furniture, I don't really like the furniture that they have here. Most of it is like the floor pieces, so some of it does have some damage, but I couldn't help but show you guys this table. This one was beautiful. It looked like it was in great condition. 447 not bad for a deal, but the aesthetic of that table was just beautiful. And they even have these chairs right next to it for 25 bucks that I feel like you could probably style with that table as well. All right, and that was it for this location here. I do think that this one was a little bit more organized than the one in the previous video. This one didn't show you any of the repeating stuff that I saw from the previous store, but it was a lot more organized of some of the things that was repeating from last time. They had a little bit more rhythm for the shelves. I mean, still some things were kind of spread around throughout the store, so you saw kind of multiple categories a little bit here and there, but they did end up having some great stuff. And I do have a little bit of a haul to show you guys this time. Decided I should show you guys. I actually finished up my Christmas shopping now <laughs> for all of my uh, nieces and nephews. So I ended up only spending $68.03, that's with tax included. And I just finished up the gifts for I now have for three of my nieces and nephews. I still have one left. That's the baby. That one's a little bit more difficult to kind of pre-buy things for. But I have for three nieces and nephews for Christmas and birthday. So let me take you to my trunk because that's where it's going to be and show you guys the haul. All right. So welcome to my trunk here filled with toys. <laughs> so let's start off with the small stuff. I ended up picking up four of these body wash Crayola pens. So these are ones you can like write on the walls with. Parents are going to love these. <laughs> of course it washes right off because it's for the tub. These were five cents each. So I grabbed four of them. I also ended up grabbing this tub of sidewalk chalk, 20 pieces. This was just a dollar. I also ended up grabbing for a dollar each these poppets. These are great for the older kids. So each one is going to be able to get one of these. For my youngest niece, she ended up getting this little teddy bear playset and book. I thought it was really cute because it came with like a little bit of everything and it also has a string so once everything's out she can like pull this along with her. I thought this was super cute. That one was um, $14.99 so not bad for that. This giant Nerf Roblox thing here was just $9.99 fabulous deal to go with the theme of that one we have a roblox operation beach day it comes with all of these little characters this one was a little bit pricier than the rest of them it was 26.99 but this one is originally like 56 so i'm not mad at it and then because the kids always 
lose these little darts when they have one of these big things here. I ended up grabbing this bucket here of 200 darts. I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to fit inside the Nerf one. This is not technically the Nerf brand, but I mean, they're usually same kind of thing. So this will be paired with that. And then I'll just put together like little baskets and things for the kids. And I mean, this was a great haul here for 68 bucks, getting enough presents for three different kids. I mean, that's amazing. It, kids can be so freaking expensive. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for the haul. Nothing for me today, but that is okay because I definitely did get a lot of really good stuff. I mean, I just finished all my kids' Christmas shopping for this year in September. That honestly feels so great because I do tend to wait to the last minute and shop in December for everybody. And there is a lot of people in my family, so it definitely adds up waiting to the last minute. So the fact that I was able to find Christmas gifts for all three of the big kids and birthdays, I mean, that just saves me so much time and money here because all of that was a really good deal. In the stores, that would have been like triple. So I'm really excited that I was able to grab all that for my uh, nieces and nephews. And I mean, yeah, it was just so much fun to actually be able to go back here for the store because they did have a lot of different stuff than the other store. I definitely feel like they do get a lot of different shipments and they don't send it to all of their stores, which is really nice. So if you hit one, you don't get to see everything of the same item in the other stores makes it more of a surprise every time you go in the stores so I definitely think I need to go and hit this store one more time before we are out of the area and then unfortunately I won't be able to do these vlogs anymore because it's a little bit far away I'll probably only be able to do it every couple of months maybe right now we're currently in the city for like another week so that's how I'm able to do these vlogs for you guys so Definitely let me know if you guys want me to do it at least one more time for you guys before I back home. I will be happy to do so so we can see all of the good deals that are still coming into the store. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!